everyone. Welcome to the Anime Cons TV predictions episode for 2016 and 2017. We've split it out from the year in review this year because it's always lots of stuff. And so in this episode, we're going to talk about our predictions we made for 2016, see how accurate we were, and then we'll make some predictions for 2017. And uh, with us this week, we have Doug. Hey, everybody. Good to be back. Elizabeth. Hey, everybody. Uh, Shiva and Sketch. Hello. And a new participant for your interview, Rue, Movie Phone Guy. Hey, guys. And uh, so let's take a look at our predictions. Uh, I'll go first. I had predicted that we would see another con attempt to do a second con in a new city. I wasn't talking like they go to, uh, you know, they expand. Like there's some cons that go city to city. I was talking like somebody goes to a far off place, like all those cons that were trying Hawaii cons or the one uh, Otakon went to Otakon Vegas. I thought we would see another one try to do some wacky location like, it. well, we're going to Hawaii too. Uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> and uh, so nobody else opened a new Hawaii con. Nobody else went to Vegas. And actually, I think Anime Matsuri Hawaii didn't even happen in 2016. So it seemed to be getting their senses and not doing this. So that's you a might good be, thing. You might be a year early. Colossal Con is doing like an East, which is weird because they're already in Ohio, which is kind of East, but they're doing one in the Poconos in Pennsylvania in 2017 in the fall. Oh, that's so right. So they're I kind forgot. of splitting. I might go to that. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I, I forgot about that one. So you're 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 off. You're off. Like Back to the Future Two is off by a year with the Cubs. Yeah, yeah. It's 2017. That's when the world ends. I think it's what still amazes me though is that like Otakon Vegas is still around after this year, and it's uh, I think, but I think a lot of cons are just realizing they're spreading too thin and resources are getting too far out. So there's I think a lot of people are seeing what people have tried and realizing. It's kind of a bad idea. Yeah, the precedent's there. You, you can look at the other cons that have tried it, and it's not working. I mean, even go back to as far as a Boston con expanding into Providence. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're referring to a very specific example. Uh, yeah. People still talk about it. Like, someone brought that up recently, and they're like, there was this, like, 21-plus thing, and I'm so sad I missed it. And I'm like, wow, you're kind of a decade too late. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now I see Kraken Con going down to Santa Clara, and I worry, like, oh, they're going an hour south to do a convention under a different name. I hope they, <laughs> I hope they succeed because that's a good con. So hopefully, Hydra Comic Con will work out for them. Uh, now, Doug, your prediction for 2016 was that One Punch Man will be a costume that we'll see a lot of. I was right and I wasn't. Mm. Like, a lot of people, I saw a lot of people, especially at Otakon, cosplaying from it. But I was, like, expecting, like, the main character, Saitama. I expected him to be kind of the go-to for bald guys or guys that were willing to, like, shave their head. And honestly, I didn't see too much of him around. And it surprised me because it's a very simple, easy-to-put-together costume. But I saw a lot more people doing other characters instead. So... I kind of say I was half right. Yeah, last you year. Good. Where you were right, though, is that One Punch Man was the go to AMV footage, though. Like, yes. every AMV had One Punch Man in it. Mm -hmm. I, and, that, and that was definitely like one of my favorite AMVs this year was the uh, One Punch uh, Man footage to the uh, Deadpool trailer audio. That was hysterical. <laughs> And I remember we recorded this last year, and I didn't even know who One Punch Man was. And now I know, and I've seen more cosplay than I have episodes, which I haven't <laughs> seen any episodes, but I've seen a lot of cosplay. Not as much as, like, uh, you know, Naruto a few years back, or uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah. I think the, the one thing I noticed, though, is uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was uh, still gaining steam too so i think there's a lot less kind of there's still flavors of the month so to speak but it's much more spread out 
That's yeah. yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, you said that you will get your husband to a convention for at least one day. Nope. <laughs> it almost happened. He, I think I got him this close to go to Granite State Comic Con up in New Hampshire, and he ended up not feeling well that weekend. Uh, Legit, he wasn't feeling well. He didn't, and then uh, it just it didn't work out. So, oh well, maybe next year. We, we one of these years we will get him. Yeah, I've gone to his radio stuff. So yeah. this is the flip side. Is he needs? I mean, I've got him dress up for Halloween the past three years, so that's a start. I feel like he had a hardcore Halloween costume this year too. Like that wasn't clothes; that was a costume. That was a costume. Oh, I should I should get a picture of that. So we did. I already had the Snow White costume, so I made him. Um, actually, it wasn't too bad. So I mean, the prince. So I just made the. What did I make? The belts and the tunic and the cape and the hat, and it took like two nights of work. Um, and that was a lot of fun. So maybe next year. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. And uh, Shiva, your prediction was this will be your last year of cosplay and con going for a while. Is that true? Well, it was, but now it's not. So good news, you guys. Okay. <laughs> We're, we're, we're stuck with you for a little longer, huh? <laughs> I feel like I've been saying that for like five years. Cats. Yeah, I mean, I've already had my board for like Katsu and AB, so we're pretty locked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I saw that you had, uh, I wasn't sure if you, this was going to be true or not, and then I saw you post a picture of a Chibi Moon wig on Facebook, and I was like, oh yeah, she got that wrong. <laughs> She's totally cosplaying next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's in the box right there. That thing's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rob, yours was that MST3K reboot uh, reboot will not do as good as it hopes. Well, technically, I'm not wrong because it hasn't come out. <laughs> That's true. They did. I mean, we recorded this while they were doing the <laughs> Kickstarter last year. And they ended up setting a record for Kickstarter. So that's doing yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. I think they... I, I mean, I, did you guys do the Kickstarter? Because I did. Me. So they, I think they finished... Last update, they said they finished filming everything. And now yeah. they're editing. Yeah, so. they, they, they're in post-production yeah. or at some point in that. They've shot everything. And uh, we still haven't seen any real footage. Just some behind the scenes. I'm in the Kickstarter, so I see all the stuff yep. he sends out. And I want my t-shirt and my mug already. Oh, I didn't get that level. I just got the digital rewards, but I, that did give me access when Joel released the first two KTMA episodes. So I have copies of those, which nobody has seen for 30 years. So oh, jeez. The jokes are few and far I between. Yeah, the, there, there's long periods of no joke, but it's just fascinating to see the first two episodes where it began. Yeah, I did a, I think, I think it was, I don't remember how much it was, but it was all the stuff up to like the t-shirt and the mug. Um, or maybe just the t-shirt. I know I'm definitely, I think both. But you get the know. episodes, right? And I get the episodes, yeah. Okay, because that's what you need. That's what I need, Yeah. Uh, now, uh, Rue, uh, you had made a prediction last year that we stuck at the end of our episode. <laughs> you snuck one in. Yep. And uh, your prediction was that Awkward be would be the best-selling manga of 2016. I'm going to say that it was. With all the authority that I've been presented in this moment, it absolutely was. <laughs> I have more copies of that than any other manga in my house, because I own two. I totally didn't lose one for a minute. You have two copies. <laughs> well, I needed one, and when you need a copy of Awkward, you need your copy now. Uh, or on Amazon two days later. My point is, it's a pretty good manga. Yeah, we've got a lot of copies. There's four <laughs> French ones back there. Uh, there's one in the bookshelf. There's, I think, one on her desk. Of course, she's using it for reference, so... Yeah. Well, I guess I've lost this contest on who has more copies of Awkward. I don't know what I was thinking entering. 
But you have two. So it'd be really awkward if Rue had more copies of Awkward than the author. <laughs> that would indicate several problems, yes. <laughs> but how many copies do you have of the art adventures of Mr. Raccoon? Uh not enough. <laughs> yeah, we have too many, so maybe we can work something out. Oh, I'm sure we could. Stocking stuffers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Svet, uh, we I'm using a wireless microphone, so it's hard for us to both be on technical reasons. She's not doing the predictions, but she did predict last year that the number of conventions will grow, reach critical mass, form a singularity, and wipe out all life. It will basically be The Walking Dead, except cosplayers. And uh, she also said we won't have to worry about climate change anymore uh, or Donald Trump. That's literally, that's in the episode. Care to Delana, comment? it's your fault! <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we're all very relieved right now that my prediction did not, in fact, come true. Except for one part of that, obviously. Uh, that's really all I have to say. <laughs> I'm I'm really glad to be of service. <laughs> You're a hero. I, I don't know. Sometimes if you go into the lobby of a hotel the Monday after the con, it feels like Walking Dead with cosplayers. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll never forget the Katsukon where it snowed, and that was like the Walking Dead because everybody just wanted to go home, and the con couldn't end. We were all trapped. And... Uh, so that's our predictions for 2016. Uh, now it's time to make some predictions for the new year. And uh, so uh, let's see. My prediction for 2017, I wrote it down because I've already forgotten what it was. Oh, Anime Cons TV will finally pass 1,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Now we do get a lot more subscribers to the podcast. I'm just talking about YouTube. And uh, we're currently at 700 and something. So I think in 2017, we'll pass 1,000. What do you guys think? I think we can do it. Tell your friends to subscribe. Absolutely. I bet we could put something right in the lower third, like right here, that says tells people where to subscribe. We should have a prize for the 1,000 subscriber. Yes. Uh, oh. Well, I, I know what happens when you do it that. I think I did that for... Twitter at one point, and I said, okay, the thousand subscriber, and it got a lot of people to unsubscribe because they wanted to wait until it got up so they yeah. could resubscribe. So don't unsubscribe. <laughs> We're not doing a prize for the thousand. <laughs> We're not pulling a scam school. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, this isn't a, it's not a Brushwood production. <laughs> and uh, let's see. So that's my prediction. Uh, who wants to go next? I'll go. So I think that in 2017, Yuri on Ice is going to be the new Attack on Titan at conventions. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yep. Okay, now like One Punch Man last year, I don't know what Yuri on Ice is. is Where this have that? you been? What is this rock I've been around? editing podcasts. <laughs> I still have to watch it. Is this Either Yuri Lowenthal, the voice actor, doing stuff on ice? Is he? No. It's like Princess Tutu on ice, from what I can tell. <laughs> it's not the Yuri you're thinking of. <laughs> but all I know is all the professional figure skaters are watching it and like retweeting it, and everybody I know is watching it. So. All right. We'll see. Uh, who's up next? Uh, I'll go next. Um, so I'm going to carry mine over from last year. Um, but all I have to is um, I will finally cosplay Lulu from Final Fantasy X. I've wanted to cosplay that since 2004, and I should probably get around to that. Do it. I know. <laughs> hit, hit big lots, buy lots of belts. I already have all the belts. <laughs> of course she does. Yeah. Been slowly accumulating all the belts. Did you get all the fur too? I have the fur. It's actually I got fur from my mom's work. I don't know. I think it's still fake fur. Um, I hope, um, but it's like really expensive and it's really nice. 
and I got it for free. Why have I not made this costume yet? So yeah, that's my prediction. Plus one from last year. So I have two to live up to. Plus Doug. Yeah, he's going to go. Plus Doug. Other Doug. <laughs> Other Doug. Husband Doug. Other Doug is Waka. <laughs> <laughs> It gets so confusing with so many Dugs and Elizabeths. Patrick's. Oh, yeah. Only uh, one me. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I'll go next. I'll go next for predictions. So my prediction is that I will have a meltdown because I'm going to do Star Wars Celebration next year. And that's either going to be a meltdown, like something really exciting, like getting to meet Mark Hamill, or it's going to be a meltdown in that I'm going to literally turn into a puddle because I'm wearing like a heavy costume in Orlando in middle in the middle of April. So that's my which, prediction. <laughs> which costume are you wearing to a celebration? Um, I am definitely going to bring the Biker Scout. That's my go-to. I'm still trying to finish up the clone trooper. I'm getting closer and closer. It's just a lot of slow work where you do like 10 minutes of work and then have to wait, let it dry overnight and stuff like that. Um, and I might have one or two other things, but the biker scouts, the one that if nothing else, that will come down one way or another. Cause that, that is my go-to star Wars costume. I'm so sad. That's Easter weekend. But you know what's yeah. not Easter weekend? Anime, Anime Boston. Boston. <laughs> I can finally go to Anime Boston all weekend. On Sunday. <laughs> yeah. uh, I need to finish. I need to start and finish a Star Wars costume in 2017. I really want to join the Rebel Legion and then go hang out at Rancho Obi Wan down the street. <laughs> I know. I need to come visit. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh my God. I've got to go there. It was free. I'm going to go back and pay, but um, come join us, Doug. Rancho Obi-Wan. It's the largest Star Wars, private Star Wars collection in the world. And it's wow. like a mile from my house. <laughs> the, uh, the He built an expansion partially to fit the Java that the New England Garrison, which I'm part of, because we built a life-size Java the Hut and sent it to him after we were done using it. Yeah, I was there in, what was it, July, and I was texting pictures to Doug. <laughs> anyway, uh, who's got another prediction? Uh, I got one. Um, so, uh, so th this is... This is a... Hello? 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 Um, so this is something I realized when I went to Dragon Con. Uh, I couldn't believe it, but at Dragon Con, there was Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z everywhere. Not a single moment in the day I wouldn't walk by mm -hmm. something from that anime. So my prediction is that come next year, there's going to be another surprise retro anime that's going to have a resurgence in the cosplay community. I'm leaving it a little vague because I actually want to be right about this. <laughs> That could happen. Yeah, we'll see. But it was, in, it, it was that was insane. weird. It that was, was weird. really weird. Especially like Dragon Con being the convention of everything. You don't see a lot of anime cosplay there. And Dragon Ball Z everywhere. I don't. I couldn't believe how many Bulmas I saw. And really good Dragon Ball. Cosplay. Yeah. Like. So. Interesting to see. And uh, Rube, you get a prediction. For 2017? Sure. Um, okay. So I predict that I'm actually going to cosplay a different thing. I've only done one, and it's because I look like a guy called Gabe. That's the one. So I will do something that's not Gabe. Yeah, there you go. Any hints? Any hints? No? Question mark? <laughs> Maybe let's church him. I don't know. Uh, we do need photographic evidence, though. There needs to be oh, photographic oh. evidence. I'm going to find one of you shooting video and sneak into frame. You'll know. You'll find out. This will be at PortCon, I take it? 
Either Port Con or AB. We'll see how 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 long I take in procrastinating before I actually put it together. That'll be key. All right. And uh, so I think that's all our predictions for 2017. Svet, did you have a prediction? No. She says no. All right. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, we'll see you back. Uh, yeah, I guess next week we'll put our best of episode for uh, 2016 with all your favorite moments. And then a uh, week after that will be our year in review. So, uh, and then we're going to take a week off for Christmas. But I'll be back in January with the 10 largest anime cons of 2016. Uh, so see you all next week. <laughs>